question very interesting and um, pertinent matters to discuss and of course to bring you in this Monday morning in Banjul. So wherever you are, thank you so very much for joining us and um, yeah, sugar referring book and you're the new you, Benin Feature Africa TV. You are mad back to the Swate Super Sile coming quite a fast one. Bo what to be jate, you're going to be a little bit of a new you, or Fungan Montanek coming quite a fast one. You're going to be a little bit of 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 a little in the land khibar yo am solo waxtane lepp lu nga xamantene moy ay xew xew ci bir rew mi comme niñ koy baxo du defé way tamit xam ngeen ne dañ leen di diktal suñuy xibar ci niñ koy defé mu nekk lo am solo su ko defé ñu ngi leen di jajjef benen yoon ci safo bi way tamit ci kolu tv ci ni ngeen ñu tam sansu ne bu waxtu bi joté di juroom ñent ñat juroom ñenti waxtu ci suba dal di toxtal ay sin ci suñuy makan di leen wax jere ngeen jefati benen yoon su ko defé ñu soobu ci bir jotaay bi wal viewers once again, welcome, and of course, we go straight with our first story this morning. We have some interesting ones to look at, and of course, uh, the newspaper review will also come on later before we end today's session. But first, uh, to our first story, and we begin with matters of uh, politics and, and so on, because, you know, as we always say, this year is a political year for Gambia. It's a very, very crucial one, indeed, for that matter, and of course, uh, consultations, engagement, discussions, if you like, are going on in all sectors, in all angles, to make sure we have a very, very uh, peaceful election. And in that regard, the Interparty Committee, with support from the UNDP and ECOWAS on Saturday, held a meeting with all political parties to dialogue on the preparation to the 2021 uh, presidential elections. Now, the convergence at the International Conference uh, Center aim to commit politicians to a memorandum of understanding and a code of conduct built on a peaceful electoral process. And Binta Fati tells us more of that in this report. Lessons from the 2016 presidential election prompted the revival of the Interparty Committee, which consists of members of all registered political parties in the country. The committee provides forum for compliance dialogue and cooperation among parties to promote a conducive political environment guided by the rule of law, democracy and peace. The co-chairman of the Interparty Committee, Halifa Sala, who doubles as the Secretary General of PDOIS, prescribed the need for understanding between the President and opposition parties to ensure stability in society. We are fully conscious that uh, a stable and peaceful political environment is indispensable to development. We are also conscious that uh, the presidency is an embodiment of dignity and respect. And the role of the opposition is also an embodiment of dignity and respect. And together, they must bring about the national development that the country needs. The United Nations Development Programme Committee Representative Asta Day underscored the importance in building consensus and acceptance of election results as a driving force for peaceful elections. Madame Day also expressed the need for the full participation of women in the political discourse of the country to ensure gender equality and development. One of the challenges facing political parties in the Gambia is leaving women behind in political participation and demonstrated by the uh, April 2017 parliamentary election, where only three women were elected as members of the National Assembly. As all parties call on the IEC to be impartial in the conduct of the elections, the chairman of the Independent Electoral Commission, Ali Mamadjai, welcomed the meeting as timely. He reassured the commitment of the IEC to conduct a free, fair and transparent election come December 2021. We, being interested in the responsibility of conducting free, fair and transparent elections, will be doing so 
Come with me. 13 out of the 17 political parties attended the meeting, who all endorsed the proposal by the Interparty Committee to the promotion of peace, rule of law, and due process in the coming election. Reporting for iAfrica TV News, I am Binta Fati. All right, consultations continue as Gambia uh, prepares for the 2021 uh, presidential elections in December 4th. And of course, as you heard from the report there, the Interparty Committee, um, of course, um, you know, together with uh, the UNDP uh, managed to bring together politicians to uh, discuss and have a dialogue and probably on how, uh, you know, we would, how the country would organize a very um, a peaceful um, presidential elections in December, which I think is very, very important because, as you know, consultations has been happening in different areas. Of course, you know, you talk about consultation, we all know consultations are still ongoing to revive the draft constitution. Of course, this is also another consultation in efforts to make sure that Gambia would organize a peaceful and a fair and credible uh, 2021 presidential elections. And you heard from the different stakeholders there speaking on the importance of such a uh, event. So, good effect coming in quickly. Say, report me. I'm going at me at election. Chi 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 real me. Mune kanaklo. I'm solo. Coming in kwe wahe sa sone. Nyinga hamantin yom nyo second bill me. Mune ka stakeholders you find nobody. So two politicians, a political party. Si ag nyen nyinga hamantin am nchi tahwa ebo am solo yom nyo dajalo na nyo diwe chi ay halat di set na kala yom mune tegelo am solo pur gis ne real me na indem chi election you am solo wahe tamit election yi nga xamanteni ci jamm lay xewé mu teggu ci li nga xamanteni moy ci yoon comme ñepp ñu ko sako su ko nak su ko defé dina am solo ñu tok ñu waxtané am nanguto yi nga xamanteni ko am ci digënté bi ñepp xamné ci doxalen bi lañu démé ci election bi euh xam ngeen nak waxtané yi fanné yaatuna lool ci niñ koy défé ci bi réew mi mu nek li nga xamanteni li am solo li ci gëna am solo ci yéfi té ñepp xam ko moy jamm ji dal fok naane lepp rek lu ci muñta am bu lolu amut dina nasa xal yeb waye bu jamm amé nañ mëna gis né lepp luñ séntu waye tamit bu gëmu am ci election bi inshallah dañ ci am dana amé ci niñ ko bëggé mu nek la am solo gannaaw nak lolu ñu wéy wax ci lenen comme niñ ko junjé won nañ kontiné di ñu dikkal suñu xibaar ñu del su wat xew xew bi ci saña xam ngeen né ciowle be légui danaka gannaaw bi nga xamanteni fa xewon légui waxtaan mo mo ci mo ci top comme niñ koy waxé sa su né gannaaw ay jamm ñom ñu dekk ci dekk bobu di sañan lool lañu taamu jamono ji waxtaan fexé naka lañu indé fofu jamm ci bir dekk bobu gannaaw lu fa jotona am last week monday ci 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 dekk bobu len su ko defé bala ñu xous wala gëna del suwaat ci loolu ñu andak report bi den su ko defé ñu del suwaat well we move on to our next story and of course we will now report on uh, matters on negotiation or reconciliation efforts in Sanya, as you know, uh, you know, after the aftermath of the uh, events in Sanyang, the Village Development Committee of Combo uh, Sanyang has begun reconciliation efforts with the Senegalese community seeking refuge at Batakunku following violent protests over the death of a native. Now, Sanyang grabbed national attention on Monday when an angry mob burned down Sanyang police station, a fish mill factory and fishing stalls along the beach. And uh, Umar Ahmad Toure has more details of that in this report. All right, well, projects will come back to that in a moment. But as I said, uh, reconciliation process has started, uh, have begun in, in Sanyang between the, uh, of course, the natives of Sanyang, uh, that is the Sanyang Development Committee, and of course, uh, the uh, Senegalese who are currently lodged in Batakonko. And uh, let's go with the report and then uh, have more details of that. They have been blamed for the crime of their fellow citizen who is alleged to have caused the death of Jibril Sise of Sanyang, fled to neighboring Batokunku village. The people of Sanyang, however, said there is no need for any foreign national to live in fear or abandon their residence in the southern Kombo village of West Coast region. President of the Sanyang Beach Committee, Farmer Jambe, spoke highly of the cordial relationship between the non-Gambians living in the area and Sanyang, despite what has happened during the protest. He said, I know make it this bad event that occurred was not done by people who are living from the river. But when a problem occurs, it doesn't have barriers. We want to ask for forgiveness for the damages caused. 
At the time the damages occurred, everyone was sad and angry. The Sanya VDC decided to work with affected persons to assess the level of damage and then work out means to compensate them for the losses. We taxed Baidi to inquire from his people those that lost their properties in the incident to have their names registered because the damages caused doesn't end with the Senegalese. Some Gambians equally lost machines and other properties. Representative of the Council of Elders of Sanya, Malinja Jabang, has this to say. Gambia and Senegal are close relations. In fact, Sanyang particularly have many of its daughters married at Yen in Senegal, and their daughters too have been married here. I personally, my brother has married a wife from Yen, so that tells you that we are like people from the same parents. IAFCA TV observed that the damage in properties did not only affect the police station and the Chinese fishing factory in the area. Fishing stalls belonging to women of Sanyang as well as local boats by the poor fishermen were equally burned by the protesters. The incident triggered tension between Sanyang youth and the security forces. Police dispersed protesters with tear gases while the army briefly sent troops to support the police in controlling the situation. Gambia Red Cross Society had been on the ground supporting the displaced person with basic needs including sanitary materials. The Sanyang VDC maintains that there is no need for fear among the foreign nationals, let alone abandon their residents as their leadership are amicably handling the crisis. For iAfrica TV, I am Omar Ahmad Toure. All right, Omar Ahmad Toure, they are reporting, as I said earlier on, of course, negotiation also uh, um, happening in, in Sanyang, which I say, between the Sanyang uh, Development Committee or the natives of Sanyang and the Senegalese who were living in Sanyang. But apparently, due to the protest violence that happened in Sanyang on Monday, uh, they uh, ran um, to uh, leave um, Sanyang, and of course, and um, to, to protect themselves and had to find a way to uh, batter Kunku, uh, where they uh, stand as a right now and of course uh, now discussions have begun to make sure that you know uh, there will be uh, they will probably to push I mean a peace with return uh, as it was between them and the and the uh, people of Sanya and of course as you heard from the various speakers there um, it was just um, you know a problem that happened or that occurred and eventually it escalated to a, um, to a such a level where um, you know all these things happen and people were you know wounded and all that uh, but i hope now that discussions have this uh, have have um, commenced uh, between the, the the different parties uh, then i'm there i hope there will be understanding and then you know we they would come back and um, live together again as it was before and you had the, the history between senegal and gambia has always been peaceful and you know it's 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 um we are one people you know so that being the case it is always good that uh, we we remember that and of course in discussions like this you have people always um you know remind people remind ourselves that uh, we are people of, of the same uh, um, you know we are people of the same background of course the the senegambia um, syndrome the senegambia thing binds us together so that being the case it was just quite unfortunate that things have to happen this way and to avert um, you know the, the 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 problem or the violence to escalate to another level that's why they have now initiated discussions between the parties to make sure that everything will be uh, come back to normal and life goes on so kada fe kon ning koy ning koy gisé rek ci ci ni ngeen ko gisé ci report bi of course uh ja ganaw ay jam waxon nako sank rek ne li nga xamanteni yawon na sam sañang jurna ciowl lu bari ci dekk bi taxna nak ganaw lolu li nga xamanteni moy xewna lepp ñu gis ne ñen na ñi nga xamanteni ñom ñoo dekkon ci sañang te ñu nek ay sénégal ñu daw guen pour arsen bop dem fofu ci euh bata kunku jamono ji nak ñu door li nga xamanteni moy waxtaan euh sen digënté ak ñi nga xamanteni ñom ñoo dekk sañang kilifa nak jitu ci ñu gis ñi nga xamanteni moy kilifa comme ni ngeen ci ci ni ngeen ko gisé ci report di ci wax di wax digënté gambia sénégal nuñ bokké taxaway bi euh nu mi yagga doon suñ digënté ci jam ak yu mel noonu uh, you know mu nek li nga xamantene moy lu am solo say nek ñuko fatale ko suñu bop mu nek li nga xamantene luñu luñu bolé xajale wuñu su ko defé jamm rek mo ci gën té lool la yag nek té xamna né euh sétané mom dafa bari doolé hé ñu mo waral li mu am waye ku né war na ci baye xel ñu gis né dal yefi ñu 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 fexé 
ñu del suwat ci jamm bi nga xamantene bobu lañ nekkon te fok daan kilifa kilifa yi ci tanka yoy lañ nekk te lolu lañ nekk di dox mu nekk li nga xamantene moy li am solo ci report bobu comme niñ ko dégué gannaaw report bobu be légui ñu continuer ci jotaay ji ñu indi leen xibaar yi ci wax ci leneen ñu addu ci walum bay mi ak tamit jafé jafé ño dundu xam ngeen né president baro jamono ji mo ngi fofu ci bassin ci manka mankunda mo ngi ci holiday way mo ngi def ay doxantu nak ci fan yu bari dem na bi ci yu bari ñu mo ngi ci dem di di nem ay nemeku ci fofu ci 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 tundu bu mu nek legi nak ñu ñu wax ci 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 lolu wax ci walum mbay mi na amna li nga xamantene jotna ci dem am lum ci wax we move on to our next story because farmers in the gambia are generally affected by a several um severe lack of finance and are uh, using uh, absolute tools and old fashion of farming now despite these massive challenges faced by farmers including gardeners uh, the gambia's horticultural sector is one of the most vital food production sector of the country with uh, ongoing premises uh, promises the gambian leader adam abaro says the horticultural system in the upper river region uh, will be the first to benefit from the 80 million dollar project here's more details of that in this report president baro is currently on his annual leave and on friday he paid a surprise visit to a nine hectare garden in urr this community garden consists of 38 men and 497 women from at least five villages including Manka Mankunda and Sare Musa. The old-fashioned style of farming is still predominant in the Gambia and most of the people who work in this sector, mostly women, lack the tools and money to ensure enough is produced. As a result, the country faces problems of food security as farmers generally struggle to meet the food supply demands. The Gambia government secured up to $8 million to work on the agricultural sectors in the country, including gardens. According to President Barrow, hopefully his native village of Mankamankunda will be the first to benefit from the project. Many farmers in the Gambia normally suffer in their field after production, with no standard storage facility to preserve agricultural products. As a result, massive losses are usually encountered. This discourages many. But President Barrow revealed that the $80 million project will solve the situation. As part of the $80 million project, we will start with the construction of cold storages in different parts of the country. This is geared towards helping farmers preserve their products to avoid loss. Markets will also be created for easy trading. That way, our agricultural system will be sustainable. This makes farming center produces different crops with huge capacity such as onions, eggplant, among others. More than 200,000 youths in the Gambia are unemployed, according to the 2018 Labor Force Survey, most of whom do not have access to any means of support from the government. However, President Barrow said his government is driving towards the improvement of all sectors, including agriculture. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am DCC. Well, despite on his um, usual leave, uh, leave of course, President Barrow find time to go around and visit some um, areas in the Upper River region. And as, of course, as you have just seen, that he have promised to uh, boost the horticultural sector in the Upper River region. Of course, um, saying uh, they would benefit from the $80 million project, uh, which is expected, I think, uh, anytime soon. And um, we all know uh, the hardships, the constraints, and all that. Uh, farmers encounter in this country, especially those that are in the horticultural side or sector. So I think um, president, the president have gone down to, to the ground of, to see things for himself. And of course, uh, probably that's why he's felt uh, he need to encourage them by, you know, making sure that they will be supported uh, to make sure that um, production or the, pro the you know, uh, their productions will be, will be boosted and, and then you know, uh, more people also will be encouraged uh, to uh, get down to horticulture and then, you know, as a country, we would uh, uh, boost agriculture in this country. And of course, that's what uh, the president has promised uh, to uh, those um, people there uh, in the upper river region, uh, specifically, I don't know in what uh, village or area, but as you heard from the report, the $80 million, uh, $10 million project uh, they will be part of the beneficiaries, uh, beneficiaries. and um, as he said, so got a fair rank book, I come in and co 
gisé nonu ci ci report bi president bi mo ngi ci mo ngi nopalé ko jamono ji waye dafa melni nopalé ko mo ngi anda ak ay ay dem némé ko ci yenn bré bi fofu ci bir basse comme ni ngeen ko gisé fofu nak ay ñuy def gardin ñu nek ni nga xamantene moy ñu am solo lañ ci réew mi di def ay nako ay ay mbayef li nga xamantene moy li ñu dundal réew mi ci ci la bok li dundal réew mi ci la bok mu nek ñu am ak taxaway bu am solo ci li nga xamantene moy ci mel nonu taxna nak jafé jafé légo légui tamit lu ñoy jankuwantel day bari lool taxna president bi ñaax len waye tamit woné né ci ndimbal bi nga xamantene ñu ngi ko sentu mu nek 80 million dollar project bi nga xamantene warna yex ci ñom nañ ci bok ñi nga xam ñom ñoo ci benefit ñom ñoo ci njeriñ ñu ci nim ko waxe ci ndimbal bobu pour ñu gëna yaxanal li nga xamantene moy seen mbay mi waye tamit seen taxaway ci walu mbay ak ci dundini rew mi parce que mom sa wax nako ñom bok nañ ci taxaway bi nga xamantene taxaway bu am solo lañu def ci rew mi ñu am yaakar nak lolu bu amé dana am jéxatal bu am solo ci ñi nga xamantene moy ci dundini nit ñi ci biir rew mi ndax mbay mom ci am solo bu mu am ci rew foko nat rek wessu na fa mu nek li nga xamantene moy le am solo la comme ni ngeen ko deggé lolu su ko défé gannaaw lolu ñu wey continuer ba légui wax indi len suñu xibar wax ci lenen ñu dal suwat ci sañang ci li nga xamantene xawon na fa ba légui gannaaw xam ngeen né place yi nga xamantene bokkon nañ ci la kon bokkon fis factory bi li nga xamantene moy factory bu nek ci 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 sañang légui nak dafa melni ñom tamit commencer nañu del suwat ci sen ligue ñu andak lolu su ko defé ñu ñu del suwat we'll move on to our next story now and tam we are back to we'll be going back to sanyang again because nearly after week after the violent protests in the sanyang village of kombo south africa I visited one of the affected places to observe how life is getting back to its normal stage Uh, the Nesem Fishing Company at the riverside of the coastal village was among the facilities on the receiving end of their angry mob. Our reporter, Binti Jalo, was there and she tells us more of that. The Nesem Fishing Factory has its offices and staff quarters bound together with the Sanyin police station in a protest triggered by the death of a native allegedly by a staff of the fishing factory. One week on, work is noticeably resuming despite the cost required to restore full production power. Workers have been busy clearing the rubbles from the ground to pave a way for reconstruction process. The proprietor of Nassim Fish Factory, Ahmed Abu Al-Mali, took note of the damage on the factory. Uh, the damage is very, very, it's very big because uh, when you see the 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 all the, the the truck the stock uh, the fire is starting from monday to continue around five days before the the, the finish it despite before the spy around four days because the 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 the, the stock is very big because the stock is uh, is working for one year and you can export out because the the covid the shipping line you have empty container That's why the stock is very, very, very big. It's around 3,000 something tons that is, is working for, for one year. After the, 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 the stock, it's a fish meal. It's a fish meal. The fish meal is keep with the fire so much. Uh, and uh, and I, don't, uh, I don't know this problem. Uh, the population, why is do that? I don't know. Because the factory here, this company is support the village support the committee fire if you start to continue around five days what you think the result about it and you have anything the store around 50 percent is gone is, is, is damaged production at this factory provides large-scale fed for fish ponds chicken feed and fish for human consumption. The Sanyam village prior to the riot expressed their dissatisfaction with the presence of the fish factory as a serious environmental pollution. The Village Development Committee told iAfrica TV that it had engaged several stakeholders including the Office of the Governor, Minister of Fisheries, as well as the National Environment Agency over the issue but to no avail. 
For the youth of Sanyang, the factory is Chinese, which has no good to offer to the community. But a senior staff of Nassim Fis Factory, Al Mustafa Sheikh, defined the company's identity under its Mauritanian proprietor, despite the fact that the Chinese been in charge of major operations. Is a is, is a good because Chinese, they know about this work very well. This is a first in the world. When you go anywhere, you see Chinese in this in this business. They access. Mr. Al Mali is hopeful that the government of the Gambia will take the right measures in protecting the company from future damage. I think because the the country, I I have I have uh, I have confidence for for the for the for the country. Because the country is uh, maybe this one is mistake, but I think the the the, the, the gov Gambia government is uh, is to protect everyone. Is to protect my own company. I show that. I I, I very sure that I don't, that I don't have any any. I think it can continue. Now I think it's after after this 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 problem, the the company is safe before before uh, like before, not like before. The people of Sanyang have since on Tuesday begun to forge ahead with the message of peace following the violent protests. Sanyang, the community grabbed national attention when angry mob clashed with security forces to restore calm in the area. Police fired tear gas at the violent protesters while the army briefly sent in troops. One week after a violent protest here in Sanyang, and which of course affected one of the factories, um, the fish mill factory in this community, work has seemingly begun and the factory is actually getting back to its footstep. According to the management of this factory, it might take months before they can start work as usual. Reporting for iAfrica TV News, Binta Jalo. All right, Minda Jala there, of course, reporting from Sanyang as workers gradually returning to normalcy after an angry mob attacked one of the facilities there, that's the fish mill factory in Sanyang, leading to some destruction. And of course, as you heard from the um, business owners, they are also raising some concerns of safety and hope that the Gambia government would do what is necessary or expected to make sure they will be protected or to avoid such a um, Happening again, and um, so got a fair coming and could say she report Bob Nekaling Hamantanemoy, Liam Solo, Gana, Corgana, Linga Hamantanemoy, Lihau Sanya, Yip, Jamukumas and Edels were Fofu, Tananak, Ninga Hamantanemoy Company, Binga Hamantene, Ni Hale, Yugin, and Bemer, Amon, I Jaffe Jaffe, Yufa Hawan. A very new lack company factory Bobu, Nyamak Jamonji Kumasene. Pour les gens qui ont été en train de se faire, ils ont été en train de se faire. Ils ont été en train de se faire. Ils ont été en train de se Ils ont été en train de se faire. 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 Ils ont été en train ci bi rewmi ñu continuer wax ci lenen ba legui tamit ñu continuer gana buñ démé sañan delu ci fo ñu dem tam démo nañ bassé ci wara ñu delu wat fofu tamit sét li fa xewati ci benen secteur dish time around am ngeen né kon ni ma lañ ko waxé njit rewmi fofu la nek té bu fi nekké mu ngay wor dana dem place yu bari té tamit am na yeen bërëb yi nga xamanténé dem na fa pour mu némé ko yeen ci liggéey yi bok na ci ci bridge yi nga xamanténé ñu ngi fay liggéey Mudem na faset tamit falla ligi bi tolu aki mel nuru nyu anda shetan lolo shi kudefe nyu del swat. Well, we move on to our next story now, and again because the Gambia government is constructing two key bridges in the country's upper river region as part of plans to boost transportation and movement of goods and services. Now, President Adam Abano on Saturday paid a visit to the Basse and Farato Fatoto bridges to assess progress of work uh, being done on these uh, sites uh, which are near completion. Here is more details of that in this report. President Adam Abaro in October 2020 paid a visit to the Basse and Patoto bridges to assess progress of work being done on the sites 
Construction works on these sites at the time was 80% completed, but now are almost at the finishing line. The infrastructure, according to President Barrow, would trigger economic growth and bring prosperity that would help balance the development gaps in the country. The Gambia leader commended the Chinese for their commitment and describes the bridge projects in the URR area as milestones in the country's development. For economic reasons, even security, you know, and, and health, this bridge is significant, very, very significant. Because if you cut down the travel time, and also connecting the road to Yorubao, I think it's a big, big, big achievement. And it's a big relief for the people from URD and especially the people from Wood. Uh, so this is a big, big, big development. It's a big achievement. It's a landmark project for the government. President Barrow says he will work towards fulfilling the promises he made to Gambians as he is now equipped with much experience and better ideas. We are more experienced, we are innovative, and we are using local funds. This is key and this is very, very important. It was not happening for the past 50 years, but now it is happening. Then that is the difference we are making for the Gambians. And now we, mean we have an infrastructure board with the central bank that have also started. So that can make a huge difference for going forward. On May 19, 2017, China and the Gambia entered into an agreement on economic and technological cooperation with China financing roads and bridges in the Upper River region at an estimated cost of $81 million, about $4 billion. The Basse Bridge will have toll booths where motorists will pay for passage just as they do at the Farapanya Bridge. When completed, the Basse Bridge of 250 meters will connect Basse to Wuli, while the 170 meter Fatoto Bridge will link Fatoto to Pasamas. The construction works is expected to be completed in August 2021 and Longjian, a Chinese company that specializes in road and bridge construction, is in charge. For iAfrica TV, I am Omar Ahmad Toure. All right, Omar, there again. Thank you very much for the report. President Barrow visited the uh, Basse and, of course, Fatoto bridges. Uh, to inspect the ongoing works there and of course he seems to be very impressed with what he have seen on the ground but of course promised to do more and uh, promised to fulfill all the promises he have um, you know promised to Gambians and um, you know as part of the efforts he is uh, doing to make sure he would ease the tra uh, transportation or constraints and all that and the movement of go goods and services in the di in different parts of the country and of course that uh, right now he is in the Upper River region. He is in, uh, enjoying his holiday, and um, but for the meantime he has been going around, like I said, in different uh, sites to inspect and visit some different places to see um, how far or what is happening in those areas as far as uh, works is concerned. And um, yeah, so sukar efek rek bokai kom ningen kugi se hebari yangi nunu President Barrow Benin Yon mungi fuf belegi cipase mudem neme kulinga hamantin dem moy pon inga hamantin yung ko defer fuf cipase mune kalinga hamantin dem moy le amsol nak dah tap dah tundu yoi tamit den kosoh la liga ibi yaga na ingko door sukar efek jamano ji sorry na amni yaka fibe ci ci kanam rek yefi liggey bi dana 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 mat mom nak gana bum fay yexe dafa melni contan bu baax ci lum gis wa tamit fed de li watna li nga xamantene moy taxawayam pour motal li nga xamantene moy digeyum di gambian ci bum ñewé ak legi ci li nga xamantene moy ci liggey bi ci rew mi ci fanne yu bari yi tamit bokk na ci motax mu demone seti li nga xamantene moy liggey bi fall la tollu comme ni ngeen ko gissé ci report bi ak cadeau yi nga xamantene wax nako ci li nga xamantene moy ci report bi mu nek li am solo ñu wax né lolu mo nekkon suñu xibaar tay ganaaw bi nga xamantene juroom ñenti wal tu taftal na fanwer simili ak juroom ci suñu makan ñu fatali rek ni na ngi andaka africa tv ci sen good morning africa monday edition bi ci suñu studios fi ñu ngi leen di jaajeufal bu wacc ni ngeen di andak ñun wala is 936 according to our studio clocks and um yeah those are the stories that we have for you this morning of course at this moment we would just take a short break and come back then we will take on uh, we'll check what the newspapers also are reporting uh, this morning and um, you know we are from the weekend like i said so we will also ch uh, check uh, or you know find out what the uh, newspapers are also reporting on the events that has been happening over the past couple of days or so so once again 
this is the week's and uh, premiere edition of the uh, Good Morning Africa right here on Africa TV, wherever you are. Thank you so very much for joining us. And let's take a short break and then come back and find out what the papers are saying. The pride we take in our brand, the work we put into constantly change the landscape and elevate real estate in the Gambia, it's compared to none. From inception, our goal was to add value to the beautiful Gambian landscape. That's why we are proud innovators of community estates. Kololi Sands is an exceptional piece of work, tailored for ultimate convenience and luxury to bring you an element of finesse that is rare but unique in its own. This is also our pride and joy and we welcome you to the exquisite beauty right here in Kololi and right here on the waterfront. Kololi Sands, feel the ocean breeze at your doorstep. All right, welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. And of course, like I promised, we would now check on what the papers are saying or what they are reporting, if you like, and whatever it is we have uh, this morning. Uh, the Voice newspaper, we also have the uh, Fourier newspaper and the Standard newspaper, and we are going to check on their stories on the front page of each of the uh, papers this morning. And uh, we are starting with the Voice newspaper. And um, once again, we say thank you to our sponsors of this segment of the program, uh, Star GSM, for powering the newspaper review. And in that, having said it now, we now start with the voice. And first, on their story this morning, says Gambia to resolve Senegal Mali uh, transit uh, trade barrier through diplomacy channel. That's what the papers uh, is reporting. Another story on the uh, paper, that is the voice newspaper, is GMC to increase salary of securities if elected president in December 2021, my party, uh, that's the party leader of the GMC there. Now, DGCC elogizes Amadou Maktar Mbo on centenary birthday celebration. That's the main, one of the main headlines there and still on, the, uh, on their headlines. GPA gives $50 million dividend check to government and uh, uh, create ends comprehensive health education forum. And the last but not the least on their stories this morning is Ministry of Health. Uh, health calls for uh, immunization of girls against uh, cervi uh, survival, uh, survival cancer, uh, or cervical cancer. Uh, that's what the paper is reporting. So those are the front headlines of the Voice newspaper on this Monday morning. Uh, there, as you uh, have seen on your screen, and we will quickly move on to the uh, Fourier newspaper or the Doi newspaper uh, this morning and check on their main stories on the front page. Now, skin bleaching law is designed for the poor Halifasala parliamentarians uh, there, uh, of course, as you can see. And another story also reported on the Fourier saying George in Coiner um, cast scuffle case threatens to revoke accused persons bailed following their absence from court, the paper uh, is saying. And it's also reporting that Assembly ratifies amendment on uh, ISA, ISA uh, framework agreement. And the paper is also saying residents of Sanyan express dismay of a police raid in their community. And uh, another story, the paper is also reporting, is forced to flee Sanya. Uh, but Kunku Alcalo says 250 Senegalese are safe and secure in their community. And the editorial says the IPC engages political party leaders. And the question of the day says, what is the state of going or what is the state of doing um, to save the land targeted to house the uh, Sire Job Foundation. That is the question of the day from the Doi newspaper this morning. And um, so that, those are the main stories reported on the Fourier newspaper. And uh, finally, on the papers this morning, we check on the standard. 
The standards is reporting that security beefed off at Bakau Cemetery after exhumations. That's what the paper is reporting. And it also uh, went on to report in another story of the IEC, saying the IEC uh, set to announce new date for voter registration. That's what the paper is also reporting. And another story on the uh, standard newspaper says GPS infrastructure infrastructure challenges highlighted as it pays 50 million dividend uh, to government. That's 50 million dollars, by the way. And uh, another story also on the standard newspaper says uh, most arrest in Siam, uh, eyewitnesses there, and the last but not the least, and, and of course one of the, uh, should I say, the main headlines there, as you can see on the front page, is three dead as Navy boat capsize. So that's a, a very sad way to end uh, the newspaper review on this Monday morning uh, and right here on Africa TV. And of course, with that, I'm afraid we would draw the curtains here and say thank you very much for being there and for the pleasure of your company. It's always nice to have you there. And of course, um, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, inshallah, God willing, as, um, for um, the Tuesday edition of the uh, program. I hope you have been informed uh, this morning as, you know, as we bring, as we brought you some of the very interesting stories we uh, have for you. And of course, check on the newspaper uh, also what they are reporting. So, good FM Boka and Yungle and Digirim, Dylan Jaja for Bachining and Andy Agnun, Chi Subasile, Nyam Yakar Lol, Inshallah, Lepulunga Hamantan Degen Ku Munekon Luam, Solo Chien, Fila Nyo Yamandi Tay, Chi Joy Taiji, Nyo Wara Del Suar Suba, Inshallah, Buchiala and Chi Ben and Jotai. Uh, good morning, Africa. Feature Africa TV. You can see Jaja Falfinger Muntenek Chibi Romi Chi Bitire Wata Mechining and Yutamo. Why Chi Safobi Akchi Kolo Tebe. You just learn the full super. Inshallah. You just learn Chi Benin. Good morning, Africa. Feature Africa TV. Thank you very much for being there, and thanks for watching. Until we meet again tomorrow for the Tuesday edition. Do have a very very pleasant day. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and bye for now. <laughs>